Imagine you're one of the almost 10,000 Americans diagnosed each year with glioblastoma, a malignant brain tumor widely considered one of the deadliest and most feared cancers. Faced with this life-changing diagnosis, your neurosurgeon tells you that upfront surgery followed by chemotherapy and radiation will be essential steps in your treatment. Perhaps you've already suffered from debilitating headaches, seizures, loss of speech or strength. You know all too well what is at stake. But then your neurosurgeon tells you that on the morning of surgery, you'll be ingesting an oral medication called 5-ALA, a drug meant to turn your tumor a bright and fluorescent pink. Now, why would we do that? Malignant brain tumors like glioblastoma affect all ages and ethnicities and inflict an incalculable burden on patients and their families. Delivering this news is by far the worst part of my job. Glioblastoma requires aggressive upfront surgery to remove as much of the tumor as safely possible. This is often a difficult and treacherous operation that involves trying to remove cancerous tissue from the underlying network of infiltrated glial cells and neurons that form the architecture of our brains. I often liken this to trying to remove droplets of water from a spider web without disturbing the underlying silk. Despite advancements in operative technique, it's simply impossible to remove malignant brain tumors without affecting the brain within and around the tumor tissue. Glioblastoma's dissemination and invasion through normal brain tissue can often be appreciated by a subtle color difference, by increased vascularity and bleeding, and by an often snotty or toothpaste-like consistency of cancerous tissues. But it's not always obvious where tumor ends and normal brain tissue begins. And for patients, the stakes couldn't be higher. Leaving tumor tissue behind leads to poor outcomes, as does removing healthy areas, which could lead to subsequent neurological issues. Simply put, the better we can see a tumor, the better and more safely we can remove it. And that is exactly why we make malignant brain tumors, such as glioblastoma, more obvious with the use of intraoperative imaging agents, such as 5-ALA. 5-aminolevulinic acid, or 5-ALA, is an oral medication we commonly give to patients on the morning of surgery that is selectively taken up by receptors present in much higher density on the surface of cancer cells. The drug gets metabolized within cancer cells into an active ingredient known as protoporphyrin 9. Protoporphyrin 9 normally exists in our bodies for the production of hemoglobin, the oxygen-carrying component of our red blood cells. Under specific wavelengths of light, Protoporphyrin 9 fluoresces with an intense pink color. Because the enzymes that usually break down protoporphyrin 9 are decreased in malignant brain tumors like glioblastoma, protoporphyrin 9 levels dramatically increase in tumor cells, leading to a stunning fluorescent pink color that can better delineate cancer from normal brain. The use of intraoperative imaging agents such as 5-ALA has been a total game changer for tumor neurosurgeons and represents how our increased understanding of cancer biology is leading to a meaningful impact on patients' lives. For more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next video.